peeps and welcome back to another unboxing video with yours truly Mel Mel. Um, yes, I'm late, but to be fair, my boxes arrived literally within the last week of April and I just haven't had time to do any unboxing videos, so they're going to be a little bit late. But today's video is going to be going over... The Doki Doki box, at least the April edition of the Doki Doki box. I was very happy to receive it, even if it uh, <laughs> retains some damage right here. As you can see, the box got punctured. I was a little bit worried about the contents, but rest assured, they're fine, even though the box isn't fine. But what's important is what was in the box was fine, because, you know, wouldn't want one of my items to be damaged. I mean, nobody would, really. But yeah, let's um, dive right on into what we got inside of this box. Here is the brochure for um, this, or um, April's box, rather. It's giving very much um, like Alice in Wonderland vibes. And here on the back are people's uh, like little pictures that they've taken over the past boxes, which are so super cute to look at. It's really nice seeing like everyone else enjoy their these boxes too, because they bring me such a like nice serotonin boost. The theme is called Down the Rabbit Hole. Celebrate springtime by hopping down the rabbit hole with Tomomi, which is their um, mascot. Featuring adorable bunny friends from My Melody to Sumiko Gitarashi, these items will enhance any spring outing with some bun bun fun. <laughs> and I have the window open right now for the cat, so if you hear like any outside noises, that's what that's from. Um, despite it being like a Alice in Wonderland type of like thematic, um, they was explaining on their social media that it's meant to not be necessarily Alice in Wonderland as there's like no item specific to that franchise. However, um, they said it more as like a symbolization of like going through um, different levels of like cuteness or like otherworldly things as um, Alice did when she went on her adventure into um, Wonderland. But yeah, let's see what goodies we got. We're gonna start things off with the Sanrio item that we had gotten inside of the box. It is really, really cute, and honestly, probably my favorite item out of the box, as I'm sure it was for many people. But it's this My Melody uh, Heart Shake Cup. Look, it's heart. Isn't that so freaking cute? And along the side is my melody as well as some hearts and some sweets it says life is shaping up to be sweet delicious and full of love and I can agree to that very much so this is so adorable I've been so happy getting like things like this to like put into my cabinet and for daily usage because these are just so cute and they make my cabinets cute but it's full of all this Koei stuff. And I don't care how ecliptic it looks. It, uh, it's my vibe. And um, we are all here for it. So yeah, can't wait to be using this cup. And it's like a really, like, I'm not exactly sure what the material is. It doesn't feel like a standard plastic feel. But it's definitely not ceramic. I want to say, <sighs> hmm. I don't know if there's, I'm sure there's like different types of plastic. I don't know specifically what they're called, but it's like a much harder plastic, which makes it very, very much breakable compared to like your standard plastic cups that you think of. So I'll, I will have to be careful with this cutie pie. Next item inside of the box was one I was also really happy to have received. There was one of six designs. Here we go. It's a scrunchie. 
And I love scrunchies and I really, really enjoy that they've been making such a huge comeback and like everyone's been loving scrunchies. They're so accessorizable, whether you're using them in your hair or just like on your wrist for like a decoration. It's, they're just so cute. And look at this one. If you're into anime, such as I, you might recognize these colors rather specifically. Um, <laughs> Demon Slayer. This is like Nezuko's robe right here. Although on the brochure itself, it does explain that they, while they are from Demon Slayer, Slayer, excuse me, um, the robes themselves that the characters use are based on traditional designs of kimono that um, those in Japan um, typically wear. And yeah, they're very like iconic um, patterns and very much so, especially with the huge popularity of Demon Slayer. And I'm really happy because I actually got the one that I wanted. I'm sure like most everyone would have wanted uh, Nezuko's scrunchie, but I also really liked um, Tanjiro, which is Nezuko's sister, his robe design slash scrunchie design, because that's what we're getting is a scrunchie, was also really, really nice. Really happy about that. A little side note before I get into the next um, set of items, that was the only item in this month's uh, crate that had variations. Everything else was like guaranteed for everyone, like the same design and everything. Um, but yeah, the next three items are all Sumiko Gitarashi base. And these two, or rather the next two that I'm gonna be going over, kind of go with each other. So here is the first one. We have some Sumiko Gitarashi little molds right here in the picture. If this glare will not, make it so horrible to see. That is a picture of a bento um, made from these molds. And yes, that is their primary purpose is to make really, really cute shaped, uh, like, you know, onigiri and stuff like that. Um, but they can also be used for cookies. I think even on their social media, they have shared a picture of someone making cookies from these molds from their box which was really really cute and that's probably what I'm gonna be using them for however I actually do want to attempt to make like an actual like cute bento and like I didn't have molds for them because otherwise we'd have to like shape them ourselves into whatever and these would be rather perfect and they're so so cute we have the Shurokuma, which is the bear. We have uh, Tonkatsu, which is the little meat one. Neko, which is the cat. And Penguin, question mark. Right? Yeah, Penguin. I believe that's what this one's named, the little green one right there. <laughs> um, it has a question mark because I think even the creator is not sure what it is. They just call it penguin, to my understanding. But really, really cute. Can't wait to use these. Same before. <clears throat> the next item goes along perfectly with those Sumiko Gitarashi molds. And here's why. It is a Sumiko Gitarashi cookie roller. Of course, you don't necessarily have to use it for cookies. You can use it for anything that requires it to be rolled out. But look at this. It's so cute. I absolutely adore this. And surprisingly, I did not have a like rolling pin like this. Like, I feel like for most people that they have it, especially those who like to bake, but I didn't have one. I always like made do or got to be crafty, but now I actually have a really cutely designed one. And of course it has the little Sumiko Gitarashi characters enjoying various sweet treats. And it's so cute. I cannot wait to use this. Not only is my cabinets getting filled with like cute cups and plates and bowls, but our cooking items or baking items 
are also being kawaii kawaii fied. I know that's probably not a word, but I'm making a word because these are so cute and I can't wait to use it too. Now we need a cookie like little session to make cookies. Who knows? Maybe I might film that too. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And that leaves us to our next and last item. So the next item was also Sumiko Gitarashi theme. Here it is. We have the squad right here all dressed up as cute little bunny rabbits. It is a, um, a pouch that you like draw string together and look the top has little bunny ears to go with the bunny Sumiko Gitarashis. So that's kind of like the only thing Alice in Wonderland themed because of the white rabbit, you know what I mean? Um, which is very iconic of Alice in Wonderland. But other than that, that's like all this box is going for as far as that regard, I believe. Because I feel like it's more of like... <laughs> cutesy. I mean, it's all, it's all cutesy, but yeah. So no. And um, it was the April uh, box, which Easter took place during April. And bunnies are also very iconic for the season of spring and Easter in general. So this very, very much matches that theme, I believe. And it's actually a lot bigger than I was expecting this pouch to be because it was teased on their social media. Yeah, that was everything inside of the April Doki Doki box. What are we thinking? My thoughts are not very much Alice in Wonderland theme. And I know I saw a few comments on their Instagram of people being upset about that, but I don't know. It's definitely like an upsetting like detail. Like who cares what the theme could be? It can be the most basic thing like have a kawaii day. <laughs> It's just a, like a little gimmick that they have for each month, but those items though, those are so cute and they're all useful items because a lot of items people um, don't like is because they're like display like plushies and like keychains and stuff like that. But these ones you can actually use the cup, the scrunchie, the baking stuff, like the rolling pin and whatnot, and the pouch. You can use that to carry around your makeup, your school supplies, however you may need. And we appreciate that. We appreciate cute, practical goodies. So yeah, um, thank you guys as always for watching my videos and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.